Hello there, friendos. You joined me this afternoon for another chilled build. And uh, it's kind of a big one, because today we're finally going to have a decent go at doing a Gundam. We're taking the plunge into the world of Gunpla with an RX 782 Gundam. I know very little about Gundam itself. I love them. I love how they look. I think they're so cool, but I don't know anything about them. But as I understand it, the RX 78 is like the standard original Gundam, like the Optimus Prime of Gundams. The one that everybody thinks of when they think of a Gundam. It's the Ford Escort of Gundams. This one is from 2001. It says HG Universal Century. I don't know what that means. And I have to thank Mr. Digital Hazard for passing this over. Thank you very much, sir. And I simply can't wait to crack this open. So, what do you say? Let's do it. Come on then, baby camera two. Okay, so we have, ooh, instructions. Oh, mate, look at that. Oh my God, <laughs> look at this. <sighs> Might be here a while. All right, I'm just gonna get into this. We have a gray and white bag and a colorful bag, that's it. And some stickers. All right, so this is a 144 scale kit. I did used to build a few of these. I did a lot of the Gundam wing kits with like um, Death Scythe and heavy arms and many pleasant memories about that, but I never watched the anime. I just can't do anime. So I'm still basically ignorant as to what any of these Gundams need. <laughs> Feels good. Stage one, we require a PCB. That's one of these. <gasps> Ooh, tools. After the embarrassed Mageddon of uh, the D-Style Skywarp build, somebody sent me some snippers. I believe it was Matthew from uh, the fellow who sent me the uh, Gundam Guzian kit, which uh, the video that I ruined, I'll never stop mentioning it. We need a B and a J. Ha! <laughs> We're snipping. <gasps> We've snipped. The first, the inaugural snip. One B, oh, hello. This little stalk thing here. Hey, here we are. Oh my God, we're doing this. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> we need B29 and 27. This one and this one. Oh, so there he is. That is 27 and 29 right here. God, hope I can make this interesting enough. <laughs> Tiny bit of uh, leftover on there. I'm gonna try and do this as well as I can, all right? We're gonna make this beautiful. It's quite amazing, like, the amount of enthusiasm there was. Because I mentioned that I had a Gundam kit on Twitter, and everyone's suddenly like, Oh my god, Thieves do eat Gundams. What is it? Is it MG? Is it Master Grade? Is it Real Grade? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just standard Gundam. There we are. Phi number one. Stage two, we're doing the calf. Looks like um, we're just doing an entire leg first. So we need a PCF and an E. Oh god, they look really similar. I'm gonna get confused. And doop, and that's E. Oh god! So the E is slightly longer than the F. And we need uh, a B10 and a B8. Snip it good. Clonk. I don't have to keep track of which one's which, do I? Something very zen about this. So we put the F at the top to be the knee, I guess. And the E needs to go at the bottom. The longer one goes at the bottom. Come on. Yeah, there we are. Close them up real tight. Ah, oh, listen to that. So we now have to combine this with this with two other bits. I'm already into this, man. This is great. So we need a C4. It's one of these. It's a gray bit. These are both four, so I guess they're the same. So let's go. Can you see that well enough? There's a slightly longer edge, and that needs to go at the front. So we pop this through here. This needs to go inside right there. Come on, there we are. All right, look at that. Double knee already. Beautiful. And that needs a, some kind of shin guard, so that's a B12. B12, that's one of these. Right here. We've got a, we've got a thing there, so that, I guess, is gonna go here. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha, beautiful, look at that, seamless. Okay, let's do a cheeky foot. So we need a B4, clearly this big stompy boy here. Oh, Christ. <laughs> A17, so okay. We're opening up the colorful ones. <gasps> How exciting. 17 is this boy. God damn, baby, look at that. It's got all details on it, like little boosters. Little boosty verrucas. Uh, that's gonna need a little baby joint. 
much like I do. So PCC, power core combiners, oh my god. I actually found, I've never seen it before, but there's a toy of G1 Grindcore uh, from the um, Escalation books. It's called Tankmaster from the uh, power core combiners. I've never seen it before, but now suddenly I want one. Because, you know, Grindcore, I do fairly like the Grindcore toy, but I don't feel like it's worthy of the name Grindcore. Like, that's such a badass name. So I would like, to, if I can possibly, get hold of... Ooh, listen to that click. If there's any way I can possibly get hold of a Power Core Combiner's Tank Master, I would love to do that. Hint, hint. <laughs> also, it's a repaint of um, Heavy Tread, like the best one. One little baby shoe. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah. <laughs> I can't not do that. I have to go do 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 whenever anything happens. Okay, so to connect that to that, we need three separate pieces. We need C20 or 22. Oh, C20 and 22. <laughs> Christ. Four separate pieces just to pop a foot on a leg. Just take off that baby nubbin right there. See, these are great. Don't know what I was missing. Pop this on here. And then this goes in the leg stump, like so. And then we pop the foot on there, in that little ball joint, you see that? There. Now we need to wrap that up with uh, B31 and 32. Gundams just have the coolest design conventions you've ever seen. I love it, man. Very sort of grounded, real world stuff. Like, actually, it's... Because they're not robots, are they? They're, they're robot suits. They're like tanks, basically like military hardware. Uh, I don't know if it matters what order we do this in, so I'm gonna pop this guy here, because he's got the uh, the female end, and his mate can meet him the other way. Blam, look at that. Hey! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm such a child. Ein, bein. Shall we uh, do another one? So I guess this is gonna be very similar, isn't it? It's gonna be dead easy now, isn't it? Just the same thing, but reversed. The mirror world, look at them shine. So I remember, yes, we need a B and a J. And that's still funny. Now watch me knee knee. There he goes. Pile that on there. And his mate can, come on, oh God. Fat hands, come on. Oh Jesus, <laughs> no. <laughs> Go on, you rat bag. So fiddly. Right, he's in, great. And snap him out. Snap him down. Now, what else? Let's see if we can remember how this worked. Can't remember how this worked. Let's just... <laughs> Come on. So it's these, isn't it? We need... Okay. An F and an E. These are the similar boys, aren't they? So this one goes... Look, yes, I'm learning. I'm a neural net processor, a learning computer. The small E goes at the top and the big E at the bottom. And we clamp them down. Hubbooge. One shin bit. And he needs a guard. Yes. Uh-oh, look at that. That's prime novel territory. Can you even see that? White, 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 clear, white. It's like the population of Tamworth in here. And... Bang! Progress! This feels good. Stompy foot shell. One, and a two, and a three. Do you know what one of my favourite things in the world is? I keep seeing this happening around town. I don't know why, but I keep noticing middle-aged dads on their own in a family car just partying on their own to like classic rock. It always makes me laugh because they look so happy. Like the other day I was walking home and I saw a uh, a dude in like a, a big people carrier car. Dull looking dude, looked like a teacher, 50, mid 50s. And he's just driving on his own, just partying the Def Leppard. I think it was like, let me like a bomb, baby, come and get it all just, yeah. But my favorite ever incidents of that happening was there's this dude driving like, oh crap. Like a Ford Galaxy, one of them big, mega, like six, eight seaters. Sort of pushing 60, looked like a dentist. And the car was completely rammed from floor to ceiling with um, like push chairs and little kids toys, like soft um, sort of spongy rubber toys. And he's just in the front of this car, just driving about 10, just going absolutely mental to Slipknot. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like, you know, sort of mid-2000s WWE slip, not before I forget. It was like self-titled, f*** it all! Just, ah Driving at 10 miles an hour with a car full of kid stuff. And I was like, you get on down, mate, you get on down. Anyway, we're doing a Gundam, aren't we? <laughs> so, there's the second foot. Have I jumped ahead a little bit? I have, yeah. 
Damn it. I got distracted. So he needs to go in there. What was it called again? The knee bit? C4. That's right, C4. So if memory serves, which it was only like 10 minutes ago, so probably should. We jam this in here with the long end forward. And that goes in there. A blam. And then sploosh. And then blam. Uh, and we need those roundy joints, don't we? I'm really getting through these parts. I've got all these empty bits. Holy crap. Still a lot left. A lot of small fiddly ones. But we are making progress. Oops, look at that. Mega nubbin. Huh. I don't feel like there's much that can go wrong. I am good at following instructions. Do, do, do. <sighs> okay. Two legs. This is good. Stage five, looks like we're doing hands now. Arms and or hands. So we need PCI. And if there's an exclamation point on the I, I think that means if you're gonna screw it up, it's gonna happen now. I don't know. Try and get him right. And a B24 and 26. These boys right here, please. Oh no, that's 23 and 24. Oh, rats, I've got it wrong already. <laughs> okay, so this is 24 and that's 26. Jesus. I can read, I promise. I remember a long time ago, actually, when I was doing the Gundam Wing kits, I bumped into a mate after having bought one. And he goes, oh, you like Gundams? Cool, I do too. Let me know if you want me to build it for you. And I'm like, no, no that's the good bit. But like the Gunpla community is a bit like that, I think. There is kind of a competitive element to it. It's a bit strange to me, because to me, I just enjoy the act of putting a thing together following instructions like a good little drone. But like there is kind of an element of uh, wanting yours to be the best ones. Like I don't really have that. I'm not very competitive generally, but <laughs> some of these dudes, oh my God. But I didn't really realize that until I saw an advert, like a TV ad. And it was this cool dude like, are you good enough? Do you have what it takes? Yes, I'm building a model kit. I'm all right. And there is something kind of cool about that. Like having, made something interesting and original out of basically you would take this as like a base kit and then build a whole thing around it or like take legs off this one and the body off that and kind of custom up your own one. Oh crap this is going to be expensive isn't it okay anyway so we need an n this is going to be the uh the cubit n with the round bit facing up like so. So this nubbin needs to go in that splap. And also we need a, uh, this guy. So I guess we can mount like a weapon or a shield on it. And there we are. I think that's right. Oof. That's the basis of an arm. And again, there's like four more bits we need. So we need a hand. Can you see that? Is that coming through on the baby camera? Fist, fist, three fingers, and then a pointy hand. Ooh. So it's real easy. We just pop this on here. Oof. Ein Hand. Ein kleiner Mensch. So probably jumping the gun again, but I think it's pretty safe to assume the hand goes on the arm. Let's just pop him in. Pop. Little jiggle. I like it. And this goes in here, but there's other bits involved. Ho! Oh, speaking of ho, got me a goddamn G1 Thunderclash. Oh my god, it's so pretty. But I am going to have to um, bump it up the review schedule, because... <laughs> That gold plastic ain't gonna last, man. So I'm gonna have to do him pretty soon before he crumbles into dust. 17 out of the whites. Pow. And pow. And also. <laughs> so this face is forward. This, with the thing down, slides on. This goes on here with the long end that way. Oh my God. Yes. All right. And that just goes in here. Huh. Blam! One hand! Look at that! Oh! Yeah! How classy is that? I love it. And let's mirror that with the exact same thing again. This is the one we clipped out before but didn't remove. <laughs> he goes in there with the flat end out and that just pops on. Boof! Cheeky forearms! Cheeky five arms! Okay, once again with the warnings. So we need an N. Oh. And an M. And an H. Now let's get this right without looking. Let's try and do this without looking. So I remember groove is in the hand. This roundy one needs to go in the window. 
and the other guy, this one, needs to go at the top with the round end facing up. Are we right? Yeah, I got it right. I'm good at this. Look at this. I'm a pro. I'm a pro level gunpla legend. Boosh. Look at that. I win all the contests. Which hand are we going for? Regular hand? Yes. So C9 and 5. Oh, there we are. And the remaining parts, we need this guy again, don't we? I know we do, because there's only one left. Definitely approaching the age where it's creepy to still be doing this. Help, I've forgotten. Oh, it's, it's him. It's this one. Uh, horrible dread about this. I feel like I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> but then I feel bad about everything in my life. So this, comparatively, at least we got it right. Hey! All right, two legs and two arms. Phantom Gundam. Ah, <sighs> progress. All right, let's see what else we got. And uh, it looks like we're making the butt. No, we're making the bod. And we'll do the butt after. So we need a C16 and a PCA. C16, this guy, and a PCA. That's one of these, isn't it? Speaking of PC, our laptop's been making some horrible sounds recently. I think I work it too hard. So much porn. This needs to slide down here. Okay, looks like we're getting into the actual bones of it now. So we need this D right here, much like your mum does. And we need an A, 20 and 21, which is A. Actual chunks of red. There we are. So this is the bum end. This is the front bit. And this needs to, this just needs to go in the middle right here. Okay, so we've this and this. Uh, and what do we do with them? God damn, we need loads of bits now. Second one to match that exactly. There's three more parts. So the PCK? Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, this looks suspiciously like a neck joint. A, 19 and 18. Ooh, it's the actual body, it's these bits. It's amazing how few blue bits there are. Like, you look at the robot and you see white and mainly blue, and there's like five blue components in total. Clank. This is the front. Clearly this is the front. This is the bum end. And this goes where? This needs to go and sit inside here. Like so. Oh, clickety click. We're in. And this little neck guy needs to just pop in there like that. I feel like that's doesn't really matter which way around it goes. So we're just gonna close this up and move on. Oh my god. Oh god damn, there we are. This is just weeb culture in one cubic inch of plastic. Yes indeed, feels good. We are getting somewhere. There's yet more bits, all right, so. <laughs> okay, we need A, five, six, and seven. So we got like a collar. So I guess these are like nipple vents. Like tit ripples. We get one in here. Look at that. And the other one goes right in there. And then pop this on. God damn, look at that. Perfect application of primary colors. How does that look so cool? This is what peak performance looks like. Okay, on to the butt. So we need two ends. Very little left on here now, we must be almost there. C, two and three. This guy and this guy. So we get this guy and we have the two N hinges facing round end in. And we just, that's it. Two of them, two of these. Hot diggity dunion rings. Uh, oh, we get to do the skirts. All right, we have to put together three separate things and then pop them all together onto that. There's no gray ones here, so let's pop these over here for a bit. So we've got a little crotch arrow thing. B18. So that just goes right in here. Give a little push. Uh, and then we need B15. I'll just get both of these out. So the 15 skirt. He's got little butt pockets. Look at that. Four little squares for his butts. Oh God. It's impossible with these meaty sausage drummer fingers. <laughs> Come on now. Oh God, this is a nightmare. <laughs> I'm not built for this, I'm too chunky. Oh, I see, okay, right. Wait, no, uh, yes, gotta be. 
God damn, finally. <laughs> okay, we have the flap skirt. That was a battle. And now we do the same thing on the other butt. The back end butt. The butt proper. Let's just add the butt to the butt. There's one and two butts. Double butt action, look at that. Okay, so which end of this is the front? Looks like that is the front of this. So the butt end will go here, and the front flap will pop. Oh, come on, come on. Yep, there he is. HG Mobile Suit Crotch. Oh my God, we're nearly finished. I say nearly, we've actually got loads left. The head, the shield, the gun, the other gun, like the backpack and some lightsabers left to do, and the little plane friend as well. <laughs> I don't know, let's bang on, shall we? So for the face we have, oh Jesus, so it's another bit where we make loads of little bits, then put them together into a slightly larger bit. A15, this is gonna be the, uh, the flare. Ow. B2, A15, what's that? Oh my god, it's tiny! <laughs> tiny little fleck of a thing. Hey, there you go. Thing is, on a thing this size, even the tiniest nubbin looks huge. The front of the top of the head. Okay, come on, mate. Oh god, the stick is involved too, Jesus. We're into hard mode now. This one. This little red square right here. Come on, get in there, please. Hey! Oh, he's done it! He's got it right! Look at that. So now, just to be safe, I'm going to pop this right on here, because otherwise I'm going to lose it, or break it, or drop it, or all three. <sighs> Perfect. All right, now we need A13 and B37? That's a very tiny face. The tiniest face I ever did see. Uh, and it needs stickers on. Oh god, not stickers again. Oh Christ, I've got to do each eye individually. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. God, heart attack incoming. A13. What? That? I thought that was just a bit of the sprue. All right. Oof. <laughs> Flipping heck. Uh... Oh Christ, this is so difficult. Yes, there it is, that's his chin. I thought that was the stalk of the head, but it's his chin. We're okay, we're getting there. The other end of the head, that needs a tiny sticker on it as well. Uh, oh, okay. Come on now, come on, oh, come on. Come on, get in there, you rat bag. Now let's assemble this head and then go and have a nice lie down for half an hour. Oh my god, we did it. That's pretty goddamn good. Look at that. Perfect. Need to recover from that for a second. I feel like I just sprinted a mile. Okay, the shield is going to be a lot easier, I think. Look at the size of that. That goes on there. And then this just covers that up. Wow, the skills. All right, one basically done shield. So we need to add a little handle on the back. So there's the L, last one of the bottom row, C19, C26. This guy needs to go round end in, right here behind the cross. This guy we clip in right behind that. And that just pops in there. Oh, I get it. So that can go in the arm bit and you can go like that, and then it's got a little bit of wiggle. Genius! I love it! And the final few bits are guns. Clearly the two halves of the gun. Oh, so I guess this is going to be like a sight, and that is, is that the handle or like a magazine? The sight can just clip in right here. Boop. This, I'm not totally sure what it is, but I'm assuming it goes here. And then we just close that up. Yeah? Yeah, alright. There we are. All right, one automatic weapon. Is it silly that Gundams have those? Oh, look at that, it moves. That's cool. What advantage would that give you? I don't know. Okay, one gun. Now we have a bazooka to build. Oh, heavens. Bringing back very specific memories, actually. I think I might have had this very Gundam as a young 
like super young child. I remember um, vague memories of imagining it hanging out with a shark. Is that true? I was either very young or I dreamt it. Yeah, the bazooka's bringing, th bringing some things back, actually. God, this is weird. Because my dad had a friend who lived in Japan and he'd bring us back gifts occasionally. Maybe that did happen. Anyway, <laughs> so we have half of this and then this goes uh, here. Two little wedges and two little edges. And he goes... Pop. Oh, that didn't feel good. <laughs> that is correct, though. Good God, look how thin that is. <gasps> so that just goes on here. Yeah, look at that. Needless, <laughs> but nice. And a C29, so this, this honking great end thing here that goes on the end. Okay. And there it is. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Beautiful. This stuff is so slick. We're onto the final page, looks like, and it's time to uh, assemble this bitch. Gotta get the head and the body and the butt. And we've also gotta add this, 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 and this. <laughs> okay. So the head. Let's do the head. Bam. Oh, God, I love it. Uh, right, we also need the back. This bit and these two. Right, let's just do that. Careful. Careful. So tired of dropping these goddamn things. Get it finished off. Without any further incident, thank you. This is the back component, and we just need to blam these little uh, booster things in here. So there's one, and uh, there's the other, nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, there's some more work to do on the behind. And C28 is some kind of clip, so I guess this is going to be uh, ass bazooka storage. Uh, this way around. Boosh. One butt clip for the butt zooka. Okay, so this needs to go in the middle, but it doesn't really make it clear which way around it's supposed to go. Oh god, this is it, yo. Get in there, you rat bag. Oh god, look at that. There's definitely something about this, man. And the next stage in the instructions is literally, specifically, lift it up and give it a waggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the rest, I guess, we just pop them together. So, leg, he go pop. Other leg, he also go pop. Oh my god, just every every additional bit just makes it so much more charming. <gasps> there he is! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, brilliant, this is brilliant. And the final arm. Yeah, there he be. It's gotta be some shoulder pads or something, right? I've missed out the shoulder pads. I got a little excited, got a bit ahead of myself, and I missed out the shoulder pads. Oh, look at that. He stand. Does it matter which way? I think, I think they're identical, so. Yes. That's more like it, that's perfect. Look at that, beautiful, clean, classical. Just so pretty. <laughs> is that not the most perfect thing you've ever seen? I love it. So now what else is there to do? There's still more stages, but I feel like we've done it. We pop the bazooka on his ass. Bam. You'd never notice. So it looks like we actually have to disassemble the hands to give him a gun. Way, there we go. Little trigger finger on the go. Yet more skirt flaps. Um, there's a couple more of the bits to do. Let's see what we got. There's a sword couple of swords. Oh, that's squishy. Okay, so we can either go lightsaber, or it looks like we can just pop him in his backpack, like bow. There we are. That's pretty safe. And what else do we have? This thing. The kind of plain thing. And then we pop this guy right here. Yep. That goes there. So what is this? Like an escape pod? Is it like the alt mode? They don't transform, do they, Gundams? Not all of them. I think we're about done. And I reckon I'm pretty pleased with that. That's pretty solid. Hooray, I followed the instructions correctly. Go me. <laughs> but no, that's actually a very refreshing robot to hang out with, because, you know, after all the Transformers movies and that, and all the super busy, ugly designs, 
This is just super clean. All right, so uh, I reckon I'll do some photos and pop them on the end. Hope you're enjoying the new uh, super high def light box, etc. But yes, I reckon I've got to continue doing this slightly. Um, I'm probably not going to go for like a huge Gunpla collection, but I've got to do a couple more because they're just such good fun to make. And uh, I know there's years and years of innovation and crazy designs that have uh, gone into it. So I feel like I really should check that out a little bit. And uh, I don't know if I'll film them all, but it's something I feel like I've got to do now. Curse my addictive personality. <laughs> what a fool. Uh, so from all of us here at Thew HQ, just me, this has been fun. And hopefully I'll see you fairly soon for another one. How about that? Adios, Thew Chargers.